Hi, welcome to our 8.6, 8.7 word problems homework assignment or homework review. So here we're going to take a look at a few of the word problems. First, I'm just going to draw them and I'll explain how to solve them. And then if you want the answers, you can look at the answer key that will be posted on the classroom page. So here I have a triangle that has side lengths of 10, 9, and 3. And I want to find the largest angle. So here's 10, 9, 3. Now, the way that you draw this really doesn't matter. It doesn't even have to be to scale. It could be a triangle that looks equilateral, as long as you got 10, 9, and 3. I just find that drawing it to scale, or as close to scale as possible, helps me. Now, if I want to find the largest angle, <clears throat> I could use, because this is a side, side, side problem, I could use the law of cosines three times and then just determine which one's the biggest. But because I remember my chapter three skills, I know that the biggest angle must be across from the biggest side. So the biggest angle here must be across from 10. So in this case, I would need to use the law of cosines where I have 10 squared and 10 is associated with theta equals 3 squared plus 9 squared minus 2 times a times b times the cosine of c. And then as a reminder, I would simplify this part first, and then I would get this whole number in front of the cosine, subtract, and use your cosine inverse. On 6... I've got a building on top of a hill. So let me make this really artistic. Here's my hill, and here's my building. And we've got this surveyor. Let me draw my land surveyor. Give that surveyor a hard hat. Gotta be OSHA compliant. There's my surveyor. And this surveyor is looking at the top of the building. Now, if it's an angle of elevation or depression, you must draw the horizon line. So what I have here is a, if I could draw it better, a right triangle. Close enough, there's my right triangle. And it says the angle of elevation is 42 degrees. And it says the angle to the bottom of the building. Let me draw that one. Now, I recognize that in my picture, technically this surveyor would be looking through the hill, but that's not the most important thing in the world right now. It would be 18 degrees. So really what I have is two triangles. I don't know this height, but I do know that the building is 60 feet tall. So what I have is a triangle where I have 60 and x. So this would be 60 plus x. And that bigger triangle would be 42 degrees. And I really want to know what x is, and then by using that, I can figure out what y would be. And on my second triangle, I've got so would, there we go. I've got x, and this was 18 degrees. And I'm hoping that I can get Y there as well. So what you do in that scenario, let me minimize this drawing. I'll shrink that down a little bit. And he lost his legs. That's not good. 
All right, let me get that shrunk down a little bit. Now what you would do is you would set up your two tangent functions. So you'd have tangent 18 equals x over y. And then you would have the tangent of 42 equals 60 plus x over y. And from here, what you could do is you could solve for x, set the equations equal to each other, and then solve for x and solve for y.